Hey guys, today in honor of Harry Potter's birthday and the Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, uh, I am doing a Harry Potter mystery minis unboxing. So I want to talk about the packaging first. You see Ron, Harry, Hermione, Hedwig, Crookshanks. You see Voldemort, uh, Nijini, Dumbledore, Fox, mm, the Mystery Minis logo. Uh, okay. You have Dobby, Draco, Hagrid, and his dog. And I really just like the packaging on this particular box because it has all the characters we love. Although, I would say that instead of Hagrid's dog, I might have opted for Neville Longbottom instead. So, I'm going to take a picture of the ones that you can get. So, as you know, I'm a fan of fandom, but this is just sort of an adolescent defining fandom for me. And the first one we get is Voldemort, Tom Riddle. Does that bode well for this collection? I'm not sure. But the interesting thing about him is that, um, you know, Rowling, as Albus Dumbledore said, you know, he and Harry have gone to places that no other wizard has, have, you know, have traveled in terms of their magic. And so there's a lot of Harry and Voldemort, and there's a lot of Voldemort and Harry. Here's Fox. So he Fox is another way that Harry and Voldemort are connected because Fox has the the tail feathers in both Harry and Voldemort's um, wands. Here we go. And in case you didn't notice, I have my Hogwarts nails and my Tale of the Three Brothers nails. All right, so I have Ron. I always sort of think about Ron as sort of a Lancelot kind of character because he was the one who pulled the sword from the lake and then he was the one who destroyed the locket. So I feel like you know, a lot of people overlook Ron in terms of the importance of him to the trio, but he did a lot of wonderful things throughout the course of the seven novels, besides being an unwavering vegan of friendship. Oh, this is Dobby. So... Dobby is actually even smaller than Fox. Um, you can see his big ears and his little, his little dirty shirt. But Dobby was one of the three house elves that were, that Rowling sort of talked about in the books. It was Dobby, it was Winky, who was never in the movies, and Creature. And he was always the one that wanted to be free. Winky was Barty Crouch's house elf. She always wanted to be with her master. And Creature was like completely aligned with his masters, you know? Ah, Hedwig. So Hedwig and Dobby are sort of the same size, or similar size, and Hedwig's smaller than the other characters. So the little snowy feathers, and a lot in terms of all of the deaths in the Harry Potter books, people talk about Hedwig's death as one of the most tragic, because, you know, he was... 
Harry's first real tie to the magic world. You know, this is Star Style, this is familiar. Sad. Ah, here we go. And here we have Harry. The boy who lived. With his little scar. His glasses. But he doesn't have green eyes here. He has black eyes here. But we'll forget that. He's in his hop, uh, Hogwarts mm, outfit. Uniform. And he's got his um, Gryffindor colors. Red and gold. Woo. So, Harry, for somebody who was never loved as a child, he actually had a lot of love for his friends and for Dumbledore and for the Order and for the Weasley family. Don't forget to subscribe to Jolly Jelly Toys.